Hi, my name is Sophia Katsikiris, and I love volleyball. As a little girl growing up with two older brothers that are 10 and 8 years older than you, you become very attached to sports. When I was little, I would spend all my time going to my brother's football and basketball games every single weekend, and at the gym waiting for my brother's practices to end every weekday. Sometimes I would just roam around the different gyms to watch the different sports pra practices take place. One time, when I was roaming around the different gym gyms, I found a volleyball practice, and I did what any other six-year-old would do, start playing. The older girls would pass the ball to me, and I could never return the ball. As I got older, I started developing a real love for volleyball. When I was about 11, I got a serious injury in my leg regarding a trampoline and had to get two surgeries. So during that period of time, I spent most of my time watching volleyball on TV, since it was the 2012 Olympics in London. Then after a year of physical therapy, I got back into volleyball. As I played, I noticed most girls served underhand on my team, and it wasn't helping that much in the game. So I decided to ask them why they didn't try overhand serving, and they said it was too difficult. Too difficult, I thought. So I tried it at first. I didn't get it, but as I practiced, I started getting it down. It wasn't easy, but with hard work and practice, I got it. Then I realized, sometimes the hardest way to go is the best way to go. Even though it was hard, it was more effective. One in seven volleyball coaches say that they prefer most volleyball players to serve underhand, since it's the simplest way of serving. Underhand serving is using your fist swinging under your waist to hit the ball in the other hand. Underhand serving sends the ball over the net in a rainbow-like motion, but the truth is underhand serving is unpredictable and you never know whether it's going to go over the net or not. When I tried serving underhand, the ball would always look like it was going to go over, but then hit the top of the net just before it went over. It's quite frustrating when this happens, and this happened to me every single time I tried serving underhand. An overhand serve uses the dominant hand to hit the ball in the air, and, is less, and the less dominant hand to hold the ball and throw the ball up to hit the other hand. This is what overhand serve looks like. Overhand serving uses the front part of your wrist and the lower palm to hit the ball. Overhand serving gives a better chance of gaining a point since it's not that easy re to re return an overhand serve. Many coaches discourage this type of serve in a game because it feels like it will be harder for players. Overhand serving sends the ball in a fast straight line to the opposing team. Research shows that players that serve overhand are more likely to gain more points in a game than players who serve underhand. In most volleyball leagues, coaches don't focus that much on serving. Instead, most coaches focus on setting and hitting. And they do, when they do focus on serving, they try to persuade players to serve underhand because it's the safest way of going. But the main goal of volleyball is to try to make sure the opposing team doesn't return the ball. When using underhand serving, you're kind of giving them the ball to the other team so they can set up a play. With overhand serving, the ball goes over the net with much more velocity, giving it a harder time for the other team to return the ball. Even though overhand serving is a little more challenging to learn than underhand, it is much more useful. The only challenge is learning it. It might seem hard at first, but let me tell you, once you practice and become a lot more used to it, in time anyone can learn it. So in the meantime, sometimes the most challenging way of doing something is the best way.